What's up, guys? Ice Boy here. So in this game, I'll be running with Conway, one of my patrons, and one of my homies. So basically, he has an absolute toad Amazon. Should I slam cats now? <laughs> you have a second. I found spare the other day. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, man. Slam that little toad. But yeah, he has a 92 Amazon. Now, this is hardcore. I got to show you guys his gear. It's cray cray. All right, so he's wearing Titan's Revenge. Corrupted. Uh, I don't think it has shit for a corruption mod. But what's whack is he's actually at 90 IES. So he hit that 89 IES breakpoint for javelin throws with a ceremonial javelin slash matriarchal. So it's absolute toad. He's already at that attack speed. Uh, primarily because he's wearing Andes. And as you can see here, he put some light fasts in that shit. Oh, he's not wearing an amulet right now because he's slamming the cats. Um, really decent mana. Leech ring right there. 6% DR. Holy shit. 6% damage reduction corruption mod. That's cray. Uh, nothing happened to the cat's eye. He just slammed it now. So we got Raven Frost. Doesn't have shit for a mod. T-Gods. and I, Oh, he has Piercing Attack. That shit's worth like an Ohm Rune at least. Yeah, that's the one that I go for when I'm making my Javas on. He made Enigma. Uh, decent Javelin. Gloves. 20 IES. One skill, but some mana leech. Oh, and he's wearing some Alder's Boots. Okay. Nice run walk on those Toads. And this Absolute Toad. Uh, 40s Storm Shield. And did he slam that? I can't remember if he slammed it or if he traded for it. Damn, look at the resist on that hog. Cray cray resist on there. All right. Got it clean for three years. That's right. So we slammed that hog. Now this is my assassin, level 85. I'll show you her gear real quick. Just nat set. Some basic shit. Plague. Just made Plague recently. Oh, shit. Almost died. Yep, this is hardcore, all right. Three Ist. Yeah, crazy good deal for a uh, Storm Shield in hardcore. Um, Storm Shield is very desirable in hardcore, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's it's a bit more valuable than it is in software, obviously. Uh, for the damage reduction, you know what I'm saying? It's great for survival. So... I believe his light fearing damage is around 3.5k. <laughs> oh, and I wonder what his charge strike damage is. I'll find out in just a moment here. I'll have to keep up with him. Now, the assassin's nice because she can. She always has little lock picks on her, you know what I mean? It's just part of her character. And she can pick locks. So you don't have to have the keys. So very high lightning fury damage with a ton of boat bolts. That obviously, look at that. It's crazy. Look at that shit. Pierce is like crazy. I don't know what his pierce percentage is. Uh, probably pretty decent. And of course, he uses charge strike as well. So very optimal for running a lot of things. Now, of course, he does run into similar things that a light sword would run into, but at least he has a way around it as a Javazan. Uh, like my last video, I ran with a Nova Sword. Ooh, little charm! I'll cast him Death Sentry. And of course, in that very video, we actually ran into Lord Desace, who um, was light immune, and we couldn't break it with Infinity. That was in Softcore. So her Merc just had to kill it, basically. But of course, Conway, in this situation, Titans are pretty damn good for jabbing. You can have one point jab and just jab the shit out of enemies that uh, Infinity does not break their lightning immunity on. So that's one way to bypass that. And if you are doing that, especially if you don't have Infinity, you're just dealing with a lot of light immunes in game that are regularly there. What you can do is you can have a melee splash through it. To be absolute toad and to just kill shit like crazy. But yeah, that infinity is really nice. In fact, in Path of Diablo, 
the radius has been increased, and I like that. It's 20 yards now, I believe. As opposed to whatever it used to be, I can't remember. I just know the, the radius of it has been increased some, which is really nice. Um, it, it's especially nice because if you're not a lightning stork, you're not teleporting like crazy. So you have far less merc control, even though you have it to an extent with uh, Enigma. But of course, Enigma has a uh, two second cooldown now in Path of the Album. So yeah, that can be problematic when you can't control your damn merc. That's why, fortunately, the Conviction Aura radius has been increased. So even if he is little ways away, in many cases, the enemies still have the aura on. Look at these guys, they're way, look at how far away they are. Holy shit. Yeah, they're way out of the way of the Merc, and uh, they still have the aura cast on them. But Conway claims that he has no problem running almost all the maps, except for maybe T3. I don't know if he ever solos T3. So yeah, my character's doing very little damage. Ooh, Balrog skin. Toad. That's a thick hog of an armor. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if... It'd be a bitch, but you could do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, soloing T3 would be a bitch. But that's really the only uh, obstacle you might have is this character, man. You could do everything else. A little slow. That's it. Shit. Yeah, but if you guys want to have a godly character, especially now, I think, I think there's even more incentive to have a Javazan now than than before in Path of Diablo because the Light Sorks have been nerfed with their teleport. So, you know, it's a bit more of a blockade than what they used to have when there's an additional 5% mana per cast on your teleport. So, of course, it opens the realm of other characters that you might want to play instead. Because Light Sorks are just a little less godly than what they used to be because of that. They're just chugging so much mana. It's just kind of a bitch to have them be as godly as they used to be because they don't have infinite teleport. So, we got a T1. Alright, I'm going to cube socket this bow real quick. Deal! One socket, piece of shit. Yeah, so we're going to run T1. Or at least some of it, just to showcase his character. Now, T1 actually has a decent amount of light immunes. Uh, fortunately, I think in general, they're the, they're the weaker enemies, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, his character, I mean, she can do it all, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, she can solo all the maps, but just, yeah, T3 can kind of be annoying is all. But yeah, if you guys want to have a Java Zone, man, Take a look at Conway's. And he gets style points for trying something different other than Griffins. He does have a Griffins. I can't remember if he has a 20s Griffins or what. He has a Shaco. I don't think he has a 30s Griffins. Just got a T4 yesterday. I haven't tried so yet. Go now on it? Shit, okay. We're going to do T4 real quick. All right. Some endgame content, dog. Uh, which is luck. Shit, I don't know if I've run any maps of this character. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. The Mind Blast thing has been fixed. I don't have time, really. Uh, maybe we'll just kill Diablo. Oh, he'll do a T1. wonder which one he prefers. Yeah, I don't care which one, dog. Diablo is shorter. Then he won't waste his map. Let's rush the boss. Okay. I wonder which one he's talking about. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah T1. Yeah, those T4 maps are valuable as fuck. I believe Conway actually gained some currency by trading them. Some folk, I can't remember what they take from at least an room. Yeah, but some folk will, will trade a toad amount for them. There we go. Yeah, he's see his his character wastes shit. Just don't even give it told. And my character has the blades of ice, which is nice. My one point blades of ice. Uh, this assassin is very versatile. If you want a uh, a versatile character in Path of Diablo, that's not 
super like uh, currency dependent. You know what I mean? You gotta be rich as fuck. All you gotta do, man, is get your little paws on that set. Just get your little paws on that shit. And don't don't be a dumbass with your uh, skill allocation. And you could have a pretty damn toad character. Okay, look at this. Here's my skills. Just barely put shit in there. Just didn't really give a toad. Just one point boi. Look at her stats. The full mats is cray cray. That's cray cray, man. Uh, yeah, you might be a little bit more optimal going fire and not lightning. I just, I did fire a ladder before. People say in general, in Path of Diablo, the fires are a little faster. Plus, you can run um, a T3 map like a god. Fire characters just waste the shit out of T3 maps. It's it's so cold. Oh yeah, yeah. So she's not doing really well on her own right now. There's a cold immune. Uh, that's her probably her biggest struggle of the cold immunes because her blades of ice isn't doing nearly as much damage as it generally does. I think it's still doing 50%. Um, shit, look at this. She's not killing these guys with fourth totally. But I'm gonna go back to Conway now. In fact, I still have my teleport amnion that he uh, lent me. Yeah, hopefully I don't die with him. Haven't yet, it's been going well, but. Yeah, is Blades of Ice? Let me see Blades of Ice. Deals 50% of weapon damage, okay. And 60% of physical damage converted to cold. So yeah, so you're doing a lot less physical damage. But it's still there. You know, you can still kill the shit out of cold immunes with Blades of Ice. As long as they're not physical immune as well. Uh, in which case, you have your trap, you know, that you can use. But that's, uh, that's rarely the case, where you'll find a... Uh, a cold physical immune, right? But uh, I mean, it happens, right? Doesn't it? But yeah, that's why if you have one trap set in mind, there you go. And it's total. But there you have it. There's Conway's Amazon. Uh, she does a great damn job clearing shit. Pretty tight in these quarters. In fact, though, I, I enjoyed my job as on when I ran this area, but I, I needed help uh, because I didn't have infinity. But yeah, for all the things that aren't light immune, they just waste. It's, it's just such a freaking blast just throwing your javelins through all this shit. I wonder what his pierce percent is. That's a big deal, but of course you're sacrificing some if you max that shit out. Uh, because you can't have godly as toad here. Um, like T-Gods, for example, although you can max it out with T-Gods even. And I did this a few ladders ago, man, and it was such a blast. I, I didn't even have Infinity, but it was so godly. Because I had maxed Pierce, and she was wearing T-Gods. So she had the nice defensive end from T-Gods, and the decent skill to Lightning Fury. Is it 3 to Lightning Fury, I think? So it was nice bonus there. And in addition you had the nice defensive mods for T-Gods. And if you had the 8% uh, Pierce Slam on it, and if you wore the newly modded Vidala's Boots, the set, the early on set, <coughs> damn! <coughs> the early set in Diablo 2, Vidala's set, if you roll them fucking boots, man, them boots can get 10 to 15 percent pierce on them. It's cray cray. So yeah, my Zan was wearing Vidala's boots like end game, man. And I picked the perfect ones with 15 percent pierce. I had 8 percent pierce corruption on my T-God's belt. And then I just pumped up uh, the pierce skill. And she was able to max pierce at 100 percent. I like 101 or some shit. And it was godly. But then you can't wear, you know, a, a decent other selection of boots. You can't wear Alder's boots. You can't wear Silk Weaves for Mana for Kill, which I like to wear often. You can't wear, like, godly rare boots. Just wear a piece of shit Vidala's boots, where they're only decent mod. They have no resist. Their only decent mod is their Run Walk, which isn't even that decent compared to higher-end uniques and sets. Because they just have a 30% faster Run Walk. 
which is kind of annoying because that ten percent makes a difference that you can get off of uh, alders rather, or uh, nat boots if you wanted to go that route. But yeah, that was a good time, man. I wouldn't mind doing that again. And plus, I thought I got style points from wearing Dallas. And then I slammed them, and uh, I think they had. Ideally, I was looking for an all res mod on them. I might have actually had that. I don't quite remember. It's always a bitch to find this uh, the boss here. I'll start casting Death Sentry. Might help a little bit more here. Where the fuck is the boss? Is it in this? Where the toad is it? Look at it. She's wasting the shit out of things. Um, and as you can see there, she actually casted Lower Resist from her Plague. Whenever it casts that man, it's great. Uh, I think it breaks almost all the light immunes. Not, not all, but I think almost all of them. Yeah, wait, where's her wall? This big ass thing, maybe? This big as fuck thing right here, maybe the wall? Is this it? He has Enigma, right? I can teleport. What the fuck? Oh shit. That kind of don't, ain't got much time. Neither does Ice Man. But let me know in the comments what you think about his job is on. And he's been uh, trying all sorts of shit with her. Like I said, he has a 20 Shaco. I can't remember what he has in that thing. Do you have light facets in there? Maybe some light facets? Shaco is very defensive. He likes that. What the fuck? Herbalist. Open wounds. Um, MF. Style points if you wear that shit through hell. You get style points. If you try to beat the game with that shit. So. It's a bitch finding this boss, man. But yeah, Conway has a few different helms that he uh, switches between. And I'm thinking about leveling up my Amazon some. As you saw a few videos ago, I did end up murdering Satan with her. Damn, look at that lightning fury. Now, I wonder how he does with the boss. Where's the boss? Where the fuck is she? Where'd you go? The fuck? Where's the boss? He killed her. You kidding me? He charged strike? Are you kidding me? He poked the shit out of her. Holy fuck. He poked that ass. Good job, man. 7k per bolt? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. 7k, man. Nine bolts. It's bullshit. That's cray cray. That's what I want. Alright, so I'm going to be working on my job is on. But there's kind of ways on. So yeah, if you guys will, like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you, Conway, uh, for allowing me to get a video out of this. Oh, nice. T2 dropped. And thank you to my patrons. May the creator bless you guys and keep you. Peace be with you.